Mother's Back to Black. Kind of a funny name, but it's actually a product. It's really good too. What is up everyone, my name is Steven. Today I'm going to be showing you a demonstration on how to use Mother's Back to Black. Mother's Back to Black is a trim restorer. Pretty much is a lotion you uh, rub around the trim uh, surfaces, uh, weather strip seals, um, and other areas of your vehicle in order to restore it back to its original condition. Now, it won't exactly look like new, but it'll look better than what it looks like now. So what I've done with this uh, cowl that I, you see here, is so I took it off the car, completely off the car, and I'm actually pressure washing it. I'm pressure washing it because it looks like it's never seen a good cleanup in years. It's actually been in the car for about seven years to this date. And I'm taking it off, I'm pressure washing it real well um, to get that dirt and debris that's stuck and has had here over the years. Uh, what, I, what you do is you take it out of the car, take your time, uh, remove all the leaves around it. And what I've also did was I took off the weather strip seal that's at the end of the, uh, of the cowl itself. I'm taking my time, I'm pressure washing and removing everything as much as I can off from it. You can actually see that by pressure washing it, just by doing that and without using the actual lotion, um, you can actually restore most of the color back. Alright, so this is what it looks like after it's been dried up, and this is the Back to Black Mother's Trim Cleaner. Now this is a gel type, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to uh, rub it against the surface, and that is it. You don't need to do anything else. Um, it does come with a brush, uh, but in reality, um, you will only need to use the brush in like areas where it has like ridges, uh, curves. Um, you know anything that's kind of flat like this the brush doesn't do no good uh, you could use it and maybe help you uh, penetrate into those deep awkward areas where it kind of is uh, hard to get into but in this case we're going to use a rag and we're going to put the mother's back to black right on the rag and then we're just going to dab it and then rub it i'm going to start rubbing our cowl and this is where i started Now you can see that that little bit of uh, gel helped me out to do maybe like 40% of this cowl. So you don't need a lot. What you could also do if you prefer is you could do maybe one coat, let it uh, sit for a little bit, maybe 10 or 15 minutes, and then do another coat. Um, this is not a sort of wax or anything, this is pretty much a restorer. It penetrates those deep areas and it restores the, black, the plastic back into its original state. Um, not as good as it was when new, but it does do a lot of good. I actually did this to about seven months ago now uh, the trim itself the entire cow actually looks real good uh, compared to what it looks like before but it actually doesn't look as good as it does now now I am gonna state that this car um, actually stays or I should say sleeps inside of a garage it's not exposed to the uh, outside weather 100% of the time, so it does sleep overnight in the garage. We don't use this vehicle every day. Um, it does get used maybe four or five times a week. 
Um, so it's not exposed to a lot of the sun outside or a lot of the rain or whatever weather conditions we have going on here. But uh, it's been about seven months since I've used this and it's still in pretty good condition. So if I had to rate this, uh, this product, I haven't used anything else but this, but if I had to rate this product, I'll give it, you know, on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the best, I'll probably give it about an eight. Um, so you can see that with one coat, I, this is what it looks like. I mean, it's, it's pretty good. It's, uh, it looks better, way better than what it looked like before. Um, and I've taken off the weather strip seal to kind of get underneath the seal area. I can use this uh, gel as well to clean up the uh, actual weather strip itself. So here's a picture of what it looked like before. Here's the original state that's after I power washed it and after it's been dried. And let's just take a moment and let it sink in on what it looks like now. So you can see that's a heck of a difference and yeah this is the finished product thanks for watching if you think this video was helpful to you please click that like button subscribe to my channel if you want to see more upcoming videos and uh thanks a lot for educating yourself and making progress best to you